Mangroves in general are very important for fisheries. They're nursery areas where our young lobsters and fish come to settle, grow from their tiny larval stages where they're being eaten by everything in the sea. But they can come in here in, in this twisted maze of prop roots and find some shelter and protection. Then they grow and they can move out onto the outer reef where they can then be caught by fishers and eaten by tourists. So it's the whole system, you know, it protects everything for us. All mangrove areas are incredibly important to Belize and the economy and the culture and livelihood. In 2008, the World Resources Institute completed a study of the value of the mangroves in Belize, and they found that the mangroves were worth 175 to 250 million U.S. dollars per year to the country of Belize. That includes values for tourism, fisheries, and shoreline protection. That's an incredible amount of money for a country like Belize, and we're threatening to lose it. have a national act that protects the mangroves in Belize, but part of the problem with this reserve was that it was designated as a marine reserve. You know, many of us considered the mangroves part of the reserve, but what we found out over the last few years is that, that you know, it wasn't a very strong legal designation. Those lands that are potentially inside the mangrove forest, once you dredge and fill them, those then could be privately sold. Belize's mangrove regulations are under its Forest Act, and it basically says that you cannot alter mangroves uh, without a permit. So the main problems with the current mangrove legislation is the fact that the fines are ridiculously low. So, you know, if you're a developer that wants to alter mangroves, it's often easier just to do it without a permit and then pay the fine. Another problem is, is that it didn't identify any specific areas that would be off limits and where we would not even entertain permits. Some of the most valuable mangroves, they're not inside protected areas and really we shouldn't even be considering whether or not to cut those. The mangroves have been cut down daily. Huge dredging in the lagoon. You know, we want it to be safe, healthy development, right? We don't want to destroy our swamps or our mangroves or anything like that. They're dredging up the lagoons. You see they're cutting down the, the mangrove. Well, the mangrove for me, that's a disaster. For Belize, you're not supposed to destroy mangrove. But in Placencia, you could get licensed. It seems like you could get licensed to, to go to, to build land anywhere. It is the richness, basically, and what keeps the reefs, the fishes, the corals, all alive. All the dredging, that settlement goes on top of the sea banks, or the grass banks, and it kills a lot of marine life. And now since this dredging come, we just couldn't catch where we used to catch. You should not cut the mangrove down because it's for the fish to eat. They're cutting down the swamps, the, uh, the mangroves, and reclaiming land, and it's a terrible thing. The dredging is killing us because the mangroves keeps the earth preserved, it keeps it tight. Erosion, and you know, we're going to sink, but hey, believe you me, we're going to sink. We have laws that protect our mangrove, but nobody's paying attention to these laws. In my opinion, one of the, one of the major things we need to do is to start to, to protect the lagoons. We will destabilize the country if we don't preserve what we have. Belizeans can be vigilant in their own communities. They need to be the watchdogs of the mangroves that surround them in their own areas. In their communities, there are NGOs, and there's always government department one phone call away. And we just need to you know, get into the habit of, of calling in things. When we see something happening, you see someone starting to clear, call the forest department, find out if there's a permit or not. If we destroy these nursery areas, we are reducing the capacity of our, our fishing industry to maintain itself. That fishing industry also feeds the tourism industry. We can't just have reefs. We have to have reefs in conjunction with the mangrove and, and seagrass nursery areas, or it won't work. We want to have more collaboration between conservation groups and government to sit at the table together 
passed the Mangrove Protection Act. There's a amendments to the act where it's being revised and that's all just been on hold. We don't have time to let these important issues, and I know the country's facing a lot of important issues, but the core of our, our economic development in the future is the natural resources and we can't take them for granted. Thank you.